The much anticipated US presidential elections have finally come to an end. And now it seems that despite all the allegations against the US president, claims of anti-incumbency against Trump administration and political activism by Democrats and far left, including the Black Lives Matter protests, President Donald Trump is winning with a handsome lead. Trump has managed to retain almost all the states which he had also won in 2016 against Hillary Clinton. Biden, however, seems to have managed to win Arizona, which has added 11 electors to Biden's tally. Biden is currently sitting at 238, which is 11 higher than Hillary's 227 in 2016. However, in a larger context, Trump seems headed for a comfortable victory. Biden has performed better than Clinton, but has not been able to do enough to secure a clear victory. Now, by election night, Biden's tally stood at 238, but numbers simply don't add up for him, and the 270 mark remains elusive. The only two states which Biden seems to be grabbing from here are Nevada and Wisconsin, with 6 and 10 electors respectively. In Nevada, 67% reporting has happened till now. Though Biden does enjoy a lead of little more than 2% over Trump in Nevada, fortunes might still swing the US president's way when the rest of the votes are counted. On the other hand, Wisconsin is witnessing a tight contest. 95% reporting has already happened till now, but Biden is leading by a small margin. But for Trump, there are a number of other options. The US president's tally currently stands at 213. Electors can add up as many as 70 more cruising past the 270 mark required for re-election as the President of the United States of America. Trump is leading in five states, North Carolina, Georgia, Alaska, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Trump is winning comfortably in North Carolina with 15 electors, in Georgia with 16 electors. 94% reporting has taken place in both these states and Trump is leading in both of them. These two states are likely to give Trump another 31 electors. As far as Alaska is concerned, only 36% reporting has been completed in this state as of now. But Trump is already cruising ahead with 61.4% of the reported votes. Trump is likely to chip away with three electors from Alaska, which has not elected a Democratic president nominee since 1964. Michigan and Pennsylvania are slightly uncertain. In Michigan, with 16 electors, Trump is leading with a sizable margin of just less than 5%. However, reporting stands at 81% and Trump's likely victory would get confirmed if he is able to sustain this lead when the rest of the votes start getting counted. Finally, in Pennsylvania, Trump has been off to a flying start with a strong lead of more than 12%. Pennsylvania boasts of 20 electors and is being touted as a game changer. If Trump takes away Pennsylvania, then he will most likely come back to White House for a second term. As of now, 64% Reporting has taken place in Pennsylvania and the picture will become clear by Friday. As such, the mystery behind US presidential polls seems to be coming to an end. And it seems that it is going to be a second term for Trump with a handsome lead.